Jana Kramer is speaking her truth about the struggles of motherhood. The One Tree Hill alum who share kids Jolie, four, and Jace, one, with her husband Mike, took to Instagram to share a tearful yet relatable parenting experience with her millions of followers. Quote, this is motherhood, exhausted, heartstrings breaking and crying in a dark room, just wanting their baby to fall asleep because you're exhausted too. She wrote alongside a pic of herself with tears streaming down her face. Adding, quote, I've never heard these kinds of streams from Jace and it's literally breaking my heart. Apparently it's the 18 to 21 sleep regression. I had his ears checked and all are good now. The singer also noted that her little one has molars coming in, which is causing even more discomfort. And as a result, Jana isn't getting much sleep herself. Quote, his molars, all four are coming in and he throws his lovely wobs out of the crib. I used to go back in and give it to him, but then it became this game. I've been told not to go back in to give it to him, but hearing him so upset, well, has me like this. The 36-year-old mama then asked her fans for any tips, writing, quote, hashtag motherhood. Please, 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 mamas, tell me it'll get better soon. And any tips. Also, I only share this because I need the mom support. Many fans sent in their parenting advice, with one follower writing, quote, stay consistent. Whatever you do, just stay the course. Nothing more confusing than changing your mind. It'll end, promise, it always ends and a new phase begins. Plenty of other mamas also encouraged her and offered their own tricks for getting their children to sleep. This isn't the first time Jana has gotten real about the things that are going on in her life. The singer and her husband Mike have been extremely open about their marital struggles. Back in 2018, the actress got honest with Access Daily about how she got through her husband's infidelity during her first pregnancy. What did you get through that time? I mean, it's still a process. There's still days where I'm like, like do I trust you 100%? But, you know, he's, he, he's put in the work, I've put in the work, and you just have to realize at the end of the day what you're fighting for. And if two people truly work together to try and mend a marriage, I, I think it, anything's possible. And, you know, I, at the end of the day, I'm like, as much as I hate you, I love you more than that. So, and I like, I know who you, who you want to be and who you're trying to be and, but it takes time. I mean, we're mm -hmm. two years removed from it and it's still, there's still days where I'm like, man, why? You know, I don't mm -hmm. understand, but. Because the last, the infidelity was last time you were pregnant. Yeah, and so, so that's like this pregnancy, now it's, I have so many triggers. I'm like, man, last time I was pregnant, you were doing this. And it's like, it kills me. But then I'm like, no, stay present. What is right now? What is in this moment? What are, what are we actively doing today that is, is good and healthy? The pair also recently revealed to Access Hollywood why they're so honest with fans about their issues. The fact that we're talking about something that happens every day in our life and that people are reacting to it, it really makes us feel not so alone in what we talk about, so it's re re uh, reassuring. Yeah, the messiness of our marriage, the good, bad, and ugly, and the fact that people don't feel as alone, so. Do you ever decide, like, well, maybe we shouldn't talk about that, or? <laughs> we learned a really valid lesson uh, about, about a few weeks, weeks ago. Yeah. Something happened, and we should not have shared it. Oh, so what was it? <laughs> <laughs> it? It was it was issues. You have to listen. You have to listen back. But it was something that we like to talk. We mentioned kind of. It's better if we talk about scars, not open wounds. And we talk about an open wound that we haven't even processed yet. So we're bad. like, oh, okay, this is a little too soon. It was really bad. And then I, of course I'm reading comments and stuff, and I'm like, yeah. And then I just like I was like it was the world against Mike and me and it was just like so it was it was really tough. I had a lot of anxiety around yeah. it, but is it like now. couples therapy in a way? Which is really it is, yeah. I feel like the podcast, in a way, helped us. Oh, 100%. For sure, it, 100 percent it did because we talk about again things that we are going through in that moment or have gone through. So it is another form of therapy. So we're not just talking to the same therapist all the time, and we're just talking to other people who understand and that are human and that don't have all the answers. Yeah. Sure. I know. Congratulations. Thanks. Appreciate it. I hope you guys win because I like you guys a lot. We feel like we already have because we're here together. Yeah, oh, that's <laughs>